Hello everyone, as you can see we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is a GameStop exclusive, gaming great as you can see. And this is Darth Nihilus from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, it's been so long since I played this game. I mean, it, it, I think it came out like 15 years ago at least. Um, but I was looking through and I'm like, maybe I'll go ahead and get it again. Uh, you can get it for 10 bucks right now on Xbox if you want to go ahead and play it you can play it on the new xbox one as well as the new one that's coming out uh next month so uh i'm probably gonna do that um anyways so let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box for darth nihilus here and then what we'll do is unbox him go ahead and take a look at his articulation take some pictures see what kind of poses we can put him in uh and then we'll talk about what we like what we don't like about it and as we go through this please feel free to give it a thumbs up Ask questions down below, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so out, outside the box, it looks like a normal gaming grates, except I think it's really interesting that they left it the red color, of course, because of Darth Nihilus, one of the most powerful Siths out there. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see. So we've got the nice picture, excuse me, of him there, and then we've got the Old Republic there. Going along to the side here, we've got Darth Nihilus, and then the E, or I should say Echo 9992. And then off to the back, standard black series here, Darth Nihilus. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2 features Darth Nihilus, a Sith Lord so lost to the dark side that he became an endlessly hungry void. Yeah, so if you don't know the story about it, there's plenty of videos and other things you can read online about uh, Darth Nihilus, but he was definitely one of the strongest cis out there. Uh, so yeah, that's the box. Nothing else to it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. We're going to go ahead and take our knife, and we'll go from the bottom again because... It's usually the easiest way. Usually have the least amount of tape. Although with these gaming grates, um, especially or pre-ordering them like I did, uh, we usually don't have to worry about too much tape either. So not too bad. That's that. Go ahead and seal that up. Put that back there. Go ahead and take a look at his lightsaber. Oh, interesting. So we got a little bit of the rubber material and then cloth as well. That might actually work. Let's see if he'll stand up out of the box. Not on his own. All right, I'm going to clean up real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and first take a look at the lightsaber here. There we go. I really need to keep that there. Um, yeah, um, I don't really remember what his lightsaber looks like, so yeah, maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. Um, it's kind of cool. I like the fact that it's got the the silver um, upper and lower, and then we've got towards the emitter there, we've got the darker color. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, works for me. Uh, one thing I don't like about it, though, is I can already tell... We're not going to have any place to actually put the lightsaber when he's not holding it. I guess as a Sith Lord, he's always going to be holding the lightsaber. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure himself. I hope it picks up the eyes. Those eyes are are actually really good. But Okay, so um, like I said before, we've got the soft good cape. Uh, so they did actually sew that so it holds back. Uh, so this might actually work. I'm not a big fan of the soft goods usually, so we'll, we'll see how this works. Uh, head still is able to do the full 360. Um, we're not able to get too much of the up and down just because of the hood there. If we take a look at the arms, able to do the full extension there. Elbow though is just at 90 and then we're able to do left and right on that one. Other arm, very similar, 90, just the 90. And this one is the up and down motion. So we can already tell he's got really good torso movement. So that's actually really good. I'm happy about that. Um, the, move the, uh, the rubber leather there. Um, 
legs do the 360 at the upper thigh. We do have a double knee. And wow, those legs are actually really cool looking. Um, and then uh, he's got his boots and then we got the normal side to side. I like how they did the mat and then the gloss. That's actually really good. Um, I also like the fact that they split this leather piece. So he is going to be able to have more motion than he normally would um, if he didn't have that. So, so far, I'm not disliking the look of this. Again, it's been a long time since I played the game, so I'm not going to be able to critique the look too much other than the fact that, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, they, they did a good job through here with the different textures, even on the jacket area here. You can see that that's more like a padded leather as opposed to that there. Um, you know, they did some good detail work. You know, it's a little tarnished there with those little holes so yeah i mean and i like the fact that the soft good goes underneath the cowl here you could probably take off the cowl maybe i don't maybe not okay i take that back i don't think you'll be able to take the cowl off uh but anyways so yeah I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I, I like them so far. Um, I like the fact that I am going to be able to pose them in lots of different poses. Uh, so speaking of which, let's go ahead and take some pictures. Let's see. Uh, typically, this is when I learn a lot more about the figure, when I actually pose them a lot more. Uh, so if you have questions while I'm doing it, again, ask down below. Um, and if you played Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, when was the last time you did? And, uh, you know, what were, what were the things that you liked and don't look like, uh, did not like about it? I can't, I can talk. Uh, make sure you put those down, down below as well. So let's go ahead and take some pictures and I'll be right back. guys so i got a closer look at the figure i was right he is able to actually get in some really good poses i like how the articulation worked with the figure uh, especially the fact that they split the the rubbery material here that sh could have been soft goods uh but i'm glad that they didn't um the he is able to hold with both hands on the lightsaber so that's good uh because sometimes even with these jedi and also the sith characters they're not able to get that good grip, uh, but actually with Darth Nihilus, that wouldn't matter because he's more of the single-handed uh, fighter. Uh, so, yeah, so I like the figure. Um, again, my biggest problem is I don't really remember what he's supposed to look like beyond just the face himself. Uh, so uh, I like the figure. I definitely want some more uh, from this period, uh, but hopefully Hasbro will release them. Um, they've been trickling out, so can't complain. Um, so anyways, if you liked uh, this figure, uh, please give it a thumbs up, or actually, if you like the, the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the figure, don't say anything, or you can say leave it down in the comment. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about the figure, uh, please feel free to ask down below. And if you like Star Wars The Black Series figures, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of things that are Star Wars The Black Series related. Uh, actually, just Star Wars related as well, especially right now because there's been so many releases. But we do other things that are non-Star Wars related as well. We do things that a professional geek might find interesting, one of those being Star Wars, of course. But we also do other things as well. Right now, we're going to be doing a lot of things that are Oculus related. I just got my Oculus Quest 2. So you'll be seeing a lot more videos about that on the channel as well. So with that, I invite you to look around the channel and have a great day.